Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining in. My name is Natalia and I make videos all about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. And today I have a swimwear video for you guys. Cupshe was so nice and they reached out to me and wanted to see if I wanted to review some of their swimsuits for you guys. So they went ahead and sent over four bathing suits for me to try and review on camera for you guys. And I just wanted to share how these fit on my body type. I'm definitely more of a curvy body type, plus size, mid-size range. Um, so I wanted to show you how these fit on me because these are in like typical standard sizing there's a cat hair on my mouth life with a cat sorry anyways <laughs> they go I think from like an extra small to an XXL I'm almost positive let me look right here that I got these in an XXL la, 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 la. let me see Yes, I got these all in an XXL. So again, they range in like straight sizes from XL to X, I'm sorry, extra small to extra, extra large. So I want to show you guys how these fit on my body type. I am typically like a 40B in my cup and like bra size, bust size. And then I wear like an XL, 1X, 0X, sometimes large, really just dependent on the retailer. And then my bottoms is mostly always a 14, sometimes a 16 if it runs really small. So that is like my kind of proportions. And then for my height, I'm about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, I do carry a lot of my weight in my legs, in my butt, and my arms as well. Um, I of course still have a little bit of a tummy after having my son, but I definitely carry more of my weight in those other areas. So I wanted to show you guys how this fits on me and my body type. And hopefully that helps you if you're wanting to get some of these bathing suits because they are pretty affordable. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see all the videos from me and also turn on your notification bell for me, which is like post notifications. That way you can be the first to see anytime I upload a video because I may get lost in your subscription feed even if you're subscribed to me because YouTube is always fun like that. So definitely make sure to hit the bell so you can get all notifications when I upload. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am Baby Bottles and Beauty on Instagram. Love hanging out with you guys over there. And Cupshe was nice enough to provide a coupon code for you guys. It is YT Natalia and that gives you 10% off any purchase of $70 or more. So don't forget to use that if you are purchasing some swimsuits from today's haul or if you see anything else on their website. As always, I will leave everything linked down below and on the screen I will be putting the size and the price. I stopped adding the name of the um, item because I feel like you're just seeing it. You don't need to know the name. The only time you need to know the name is if you're clicking that link down below and it's all listed in the description box. So I'm starting to just put sizes and prices because that's sort of like what I like to watch when I'm watching a video. I like to see that on the screen. Side note, I am filming this for a third time now. I tried to film it last weekend for the first time and my camera decided to just like, I don't even know what happened with my memory card and all of it and I just got so frustrated and just stopped. And then I tried to film it yesterday after I slapped on this self tan. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw what already happened. It was so bad. So yeah, if my face looks like way more white than my body, one, I thought my face makeup was fine this morning. I thought I had a dark enough foundation, but clearly, it is not matching. So I have self tan on, it's already set. I washed it off. It's all good and dandy, except for like by my ankles, got a couple patches there, but you know, that's just normal for me. But um, my face is like clearly not as uh, tan as my body. So anyways, I tried to film this yesterday and the self tan was even worse, which go follow me on Instagram. You would, you've seen all that. Just seen behind the scenes stuff when you're on Instagram with me. But anyways, I'm filming this for a third time. So third time's a charm. I hope I get this filmed without any freaking interruptions, problems, anything. Let's jump into the video. Alrighty, so here we have the very first swimsuit. It is this adorable little one piece that is this really, really pretty blue color with a floral pattern on it. it. Has these really cute little ruffled sleeves on the side with a pretty deep V. Now, if you guys watched my Amazon swimsuit haul, then you know how I feel about this whole situation. I do think this one flatters me more than that bathing suit did, but I don't know if I would feel totally comfortable wearing this out like with family and everything like that. I feel like I'd be totally fine wearing this on like a vacation with my husband and just like where there's no kids, no family around, um, just not like with kids and everything and family around. I would feel totally awkward having my boobs all out like this but I definitely think this is adorable if you don't have that problem I think you guys would love this one it is so cute these little details this is what drew me into this one on the site were these little ruffle sleeves in this color and floral pattern like I have self tan on look how tan it makes me look it makes me look so tan and I love it this is what the back looks like it just has that deep V in the back as well and then this one doesn't come up like crazy high on the leg or anything um, but it does have 
a good amount of booty coverage not too much as you can see it is just a tad bit cheeky but nothing crazy I don't think the back is bad this is what concerns me around family I just feel awkward I don't know why but so I wanted to know one more thing for you guys on camera I don't want my boobs to be like all out on camera but this is where the seam ends and it is just pulling so much I really don't think I have a long torso if anything I feel like I have a short torso and short legs and it's kind of pulling just a bit so this seam should be like all the way up here and I definitely had to scoot up because it's pulling down here but if I were to put this seam so I just pulled the bathing suit where it's supposed to be like on my body like it definitely flatters my boobs and my chest area more now let me just pull this down because <laughs> if I pull it up there it pulls this all the way up and it like mm, it gives you that little side action that I'm not a fan of some girls can really rock that and it's like whatever but for me I'm just not comfortable with that so I like for that to be completely covered but then it's like pulling here and it kind of is like squishing up against my boobs so I don't know how I really feel about that so just keep that in mind if you are looking at this piece this one does have removable pads which is nice you guys know that I like pads in my bathing suits because I don't want you know a little exposure happening or anything like that and I just feel like it's more comfortable for me but other than that it fits me really well I really wish this would be like the perfect size for me all around but unfortunately it is just pulling a little bit and it just makes my boobs look a little weird I don't know you guys let me know down below though because from far away in the viewfinder I really like how it looks um, it's just I know that it's pulling on it and I know that it's pushing up against my boobs and it's not uncomfortable But I feel like it just doesn't look right up here So you guys let me know what you think because I don't know the more I wear it the more I look at myself I'm like, huh, maybe I do like it. Maybe I do Not mind this whole thing, but It's super cute. It is really really cute. I love this little detail again This is what drew me in the color the pattern all of it is just so cute but anyways, that is the very first thing. So here we have the second swimsuit. It is this really cute one piece in this adorable little emerald green color. Like, what is this? Not sage. Yeah, emerald green, blue, tealish color. I really, really love the color. That's what drew me into this one. And it also has this lattice detail here on the front. Just a normal like bikini cut. But it is just slightly big here. Again, I'm about like a 40 b did i say c at the beginning i'm a 40 b i don't know why i said c if i did but i am a 40 b so i'm not filling this out completely but it doesn't like bother me it's just big for me but it's not like my boobs are spilling out so i feel like if you had a bigger chest this would fit you just slightly better um but it does have like ruching detail here now the only thing for me is i do have this little trouble area my lower stomach after having my son this just all became way more apparent and you guys know if you watched my amazon video i like to kind of cover this area disguise it kind of camouflage it and this one kind of accentuates that lower belly line so I'm not too much a fan of that but I do really like the ruching because if you kind of play with it it's not as bad and honestly I don't know I just I, I don't think I would reach for this one as much I feel like out of all the swimsuits that I got this one is my least favorite honestly but if it weren't for this I would like everything else about it um, just one other thing to note with it as well this is what the back looks like. It has adjustable straps, which is a win for me. You guys know that. Um, but I don't know if you guys can tell this strap is on here like normal, like nice and wait, is it this one? Yeah, nice and straight. And then this one, if you can see, I'm trying to straighten it out. And it just like doesn't straighten because it's like on here wrong so I don't know if I just got a bad swimsuit or what it may be but I did just want to make you guys aware of that because again although I was sent these swimsuits I'm always a hundred percent honest so that would kind of bug me if I bought it but I really don't think everyone's going to get one like that I don't know maybe it was just like a little thing I don't know um, but I just wanted to note that because a little off but anyways the sides do go up pretty high um this just kind of makes your legs look longer though if it cuts up here so I'm kind of living for it I'm not too mad about it this is what the back looks like definitely a little more cheek um but it covers a good amount I'm not uncomfortable with that amount of cheek showing but it is a really cute color I just wish that strap was better and then this wasn't accentuated as much um, it would be perfect if not but yeah just wanted to note those little things with you guys as well but this is the second piece now I did forget to mention before I go into this one that last swimsuit that I tried on also had removable pads so 
that's a win as well and then this one and then for this swimsuit it also has removable pads I believe all of their swimsuits do so that's really nice but this next one is a high-waisted flounce top bikini you guys know I love these flounce tops off the shoulder tops I just freaking love how they look on my body and then with the high-waisted bottoms I think it is perfect for me it is just the right amount of skin and I just love the cut and everything with this so the color the pattern it all looks so good with the tan guys look how tan I look oh my god I love this but you guys know I love this off the shoulder flounce detail I just think it's absolutely adorable this is what the back of the bottoms look like so I don't know if you guys can see this right here but the back has this stitching that's like an arch right there on the bottom so yeah that I don't mind really you can't really tell honestly um, but this is what the back looks like a decent amount of booty coverage not that much butt showing which is nice and then it does have this stitching here for like a strap um, um, so yeah, that's cute as well. And it does cover just about my belly button, but not completely. Um, but with this top as well, you guys, you could put it on your shoulders. And how cute does that look? I love how it looks on the shoulders. And then if you wanted to still do it off the shoulders though, you guys know. I do this test with all my off the shoulder stuff and it is not moving. Look at that, it doesn't move up move up it's freaking awesome but if you did want to put it on the shoulders it's also not gonna like fall down very easy like you gotta pull it pretty hard to see you gotta pull it pretty hard to um take it off the shoulders it fits me pretty well so that is the third piece and here we have the last and final swimsuit i saved the best for last is definitely my favorite out of the all four swimsuits that i got and it is this adorable little one piece the blue and white stripes i have been loving for summer and you guys know i love like ruffle flounce details anything like that this adorable little ruffle detail is so cute and then it has this little strap here it's you know obviously sewn into the bathing suit so this would be really cute if you do have a smaller waist it does define it just a bit i don't have the tiniest waist so that's why it doesn't look like it's accentuating me too much um, but it is an adorable little one piece and i love it now this one does have really great cover on the back as well if you put your arms on you're not seeing any of those rolls um, and then it has adjustable and removable straps so you could go ahead and change these how you want I got it like this like this is how it came the crisscross detail but you could of course put the straps just straight on um, so they weren't crossed in the back they were just on like tank top straps now I do want to note um, this is messed up only because I messed up like I can't get these to go straight because one of the things fell off while I was taking it off the other day and I couldn't I didn't put it back on right so this one does go on perfectly though it does not have the defect like the, the other swimsuit that I showed you guys but wanted to let you guys know that's why that looked like that I swear um, but this one is so cute I feel like this is the perfect mom bathing suit like it has the perfect amount of cleavage doesn't show a lot of booty off like there's a lot of good booty coverage on this but gives you just a little bit of cheek like I'd feel so comfortable wearing this around family friends all that stuff I don't feel like I'm exposed or anything like that and then you have the good amount of like coverage and support to hold you in and everything like that so I love this one so much it's so comfortable and it is my favorite out of the whole haul so that is the very last piece Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining in and watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Every subscribe, every comment, every thumbs up, everything that you guys leave and support me on is so, so appreciated. You have no idea. All of you that follow me on Instagram, comment on my pictures and interact with me on there. I just love it so much. I'm having so much fun and I'm almost at 4,000, 4, no, not 8, 4, 4,000 subscribers. I just can't believe that because it's just insane. It is insane. I cannot believe 4,000 people decided to hit that red subscribe button and subscribe to me to watch my videos. I am just mind blown. So crazy. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.